of me or more about septic tanks and just go to septic tank tv that's right septic tank tv the uk's only septic tank tv channel and we're live at the moment all right we're live and today we're discussing the new septic tank regulations 2020 so look i love helping people the whole point of this broadcast that i'm doing now is to help you i'm going to help you for free all right and um the new septic tank regulations that are coming into force on the 1st of january 2020 are going to affect every septic tank cesspool and sewage treatment plant owner throughout the country so you know there's a lot of misinformation on the internet at the moment um and it's and and, and all these new rules and regulations to be honest are just making people angry making people worried they're making people frustrated making people upset i'm getting people shouting ringing me up and shouting and screaming at me and swearing at me and stuff as if i'm the one who's brought these rules and regulations about but the whole point of today's uh, live broadcast is because i'm going to show you three free tips that will help you to conform with these new septic tank rules and regulations and they will save you a lot of money so let's just get to the bottom line here right many companies are going you know many people who are worried about these rules and regulations are getting companies in to inspect and do a survey on the septic tank or sewage system and some not all some unscrupulous companies are saying oh mate oh you, you know your septic tank it's going to be illegal in a few months time and uh, look, we'll replace your system and it's going to cost you 15, 20, 25,000 quid. And people are spending 20, 25,000 quid to get their septic tanks replaced or relocated when there's no need to. So please, 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 I suppose it's a plea. Before you spend a penny, please just watch this broadcast because I've got some good news and I'm going to show you how you can make your septic tank compliant without having to spend out thousands of pounds or obscene amount, obscene amount of money to make your septic tank compliant. Okay, so the septic tank ban or the general binding rules, whatever you want to call it, as I said, is affecting all septic tank owners, right? And it affects, it's going to affect people, two types. It's affecting two types of septic tank owners, right? And this is basically what it boils down to, right? All right, number one and two. So you'll either fall into one of these two categories. <clears throat> okay, so you'll fall into one of these two categories. Right, your septic tank, all right, so if I, if I do it on here, hold on. Your your septic tank right, discharges into a water course. All right, that's primarily who these new rules and regulations are targeting. Septic tank owners whose septic tank discharges into a water course. All right, there you go. Or, or, or into water. Can you see that on there? Yeah. All right. Then the second group is uh, septic tank owners who who do not discharge into a water course. All right. So if your septic tank discharges into a water course, the government are primarily targeting your septic tank. Full stop. Right. The other, so how, what's the percentage of people in the UK whose um, septic tank discharges into a water course? Well, they reckon, and I said this is a guesstimate, so don't hold me to it, but it works out something like 20 to 30% of septic tank owners fall into this first bracket. So obviously, then that leaves 70% of septic tank owners who do not discharge into a water course. So I'm going to give you some tips now to show you how you can make your septic tank and compliant for free. So first of all, I'm just going to target this second bracket here. Those who don't discharge into a water course. Okay. So if you don't discharge into a water course, then you're pretty much okay. But nevertheless, on the government website in the UK building rigs, there's still something that you need to have. You need to have this. Have a look at this. Right. 
Now this is called a government compliance form for septic tanks. The template can be found on section H of building regs. And if you go to the .gov website, you'll see that it says plainly there that every septic tank owner now has to have certain information on display, right, in their utility room, in the kitchen, and with their solicitor which outlines certain points about the sewage system you've got. So this is a free co government compliance form that you can download free from septictank.co.uk. You, 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 there's 10 questions there. I've left it blank. You fill in the blanks, sign it, date it. As I said, put one in display in your kitchen and lots one with your solicitors. Let me give you a quick um, uh, um, example of what some of the questions are question number one the sewage system i've installed at my property is a what have you got a septic tank sewage treatment plant cesspool or whatever you've got fill in the blank there right um, number two where is your sewage system located so is it in your front garden is it in your back garden is it in your side garden is it in your neighbor's garden is it in a field somewhere well wherever it is fill in the blanks there the sewage system you've got is constructed out of what what's your sewage system made of is it made of fiberglass, of concrete, of breeze blocks, of plastic, of bricks? Well, whatever it is, fill in the blanks. Your sewage system has a capacity of how many litres or gallons? Well, how many litres or gallons is it? If you don't know, go and check your septic tank emptying receipts. They'll explain to you there, right? So, look, you get the point. So, you fill in those 10 questions, you sign it, you date it, and as I said, you lodge it with your solicitor and put one on display. So, how will this help you? Well, in six months' time, or when the government inspectors come around, and they are coming, we don't know exactly when, but if you've got an off-main system, sewage system, they'll be round, right? They'll knock at your door to find out a bit more information about the septic tank sewage system you've got. And uh, at which point you'll go, oh, hold on, Jason from septictank.co.uk gave me this form. So you'll go to your utility room, you'll get the form, you'll say, here you are, he'll take it off you. They'll go, okay, so that's the sewage system you've got. Wow, okay, that's where it's located. That's the capacity of it. That's what it's made from. Um, okay, that's how often they maintain it. That's what they do to service it. That's how old. Wow, and he'll be thinking, wow, responsible septic tank owner. He'll hand you that back, right? Then he'll say goodbye and go off to your neighbours. And hopefully your neighbours will have one of those too because if they don't, they've got a lot of red tape and problems to cut through. So there you go, I told you, I'd give you some free advice and free information. That's why I love doing these broadcasts. I love helping people for free, right? So government compliance form, to get your government compliance form, all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk on the top left hand of the side there, it says the septic tank band, click it, scroll down to the end of the page, put in your email and your address and download yourself a free government compliance form. Job done. So that targeted, so that, targeted oh let me get my pen it's just fallen on the floor so that targeted that so we've done that one all right look at that nice big green tick there so now what about then if um your septic tank discharges into a water course well the government are targeting you your kind of septic tanks because they're trying to stop and ban pollution they're trying to protect families and they're trying to protect the environment so let me show you a really simple easy solution right to how you can fix yours but first right just let me give you the options to this right so taking option one here right there's, there's two ways in which uh, people try and fit you could replace these are the two options you've got right you could replace or relocate your, can you still see that on there? Your septic tank and so on. You could do that, but it's going to cost you anywhere from 15 to 25,000 quid. How do I know that? Well, because not only have I been in the business for 20 years, I know the going rates, I know lots of septic tank insulation firms up and down the country, you know, I'm an installer myself. But People are ringing me up saying, God, oh, these people want to charge me 15, 20, 25 grand to replace or relocate my septic tank. That's a hell of a lot of money. I'm not saying the installers aren't going to do a good job. I'm not saying that the system that they're going to put in isn't, you know, fandangle, you know, with you know bells and whistles or stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm not demonizing septic tank installers, but I'm just saying there is a, a cheaper and more effective and legal way 
in which you can make your septic tank compliant if you fall into category number one. You don't necessarily have to replace your septic tank and soak away and spend all that money on there. So let me show you now a real simple and easy way how you can make your septic tank legal. Come over here. I'm going to go onto the computer and show you how to do it right now. Have a look at this. Okay, so I'm sitting down here. Here we go. Okay, so here's a septic tank discharging into a water course. There you go. So you can see all the poo and the muck there going into the stream. So as I said, many firms will come along and they'll completely, you know, uh, decommission this tank and put it somewhere else up there or whatever, right? They may even put, want you to put an electric sewage treatment system in that's, that's okay, but as I said, it's going to cost you 15, 20, 25 grand a year, and it's going to cost you 1,000, 1,500 quid a year in electricity bills and servicing costs, okay? So that's your option, but let me show you a surpassing way, right? It's called a septic tank converter. So let me just take the grass away here. So there's your septic tank. Let me show you how the septic tank converter works, right? You literally just dig two holes. It's really easy to install. Take you a couple of hours with no experience, right? So, and then you put this ecosystem, right, septic tank converter in, just like that. And the amazing thing is about this, right, the amazing thing is, is that it turns all the poo and wee from here, right, into, into, guess what comes out? You don't get poo or wee coming out anymore or any horrible sewage. You just get nice, clean, safe. Water. These systems are government approved. Look at that. So that's what you get coming out of them. So you don't have to replace. You don't have to relocate your septic tank, right? And that's what's amazing about these systems. They're called septic tank converters. And this. And so, how much do they cost, right? How much do they cost? That's what you're asking me now, right? Right. Okay. Well, let me show you how much they cost. Do they cost fifteen? Do they cost twenty? Do they cost twenty-five thousand quid? No, they don't, right? All you need to do is go to www.septictank.co.uk, right? Just type that in. Where's that gone? Where have I gone? Oh, there I am. Right, and click on septictank.co.uk, and then just scroll down a bit, and you'll see it, the ecosystem septic tank converter. Just click on that, right? And let me show you the price of this system, right? 2999. So worst case scenario, you're going to save 12 grand, Best case, right? You're going to save 23,000 quid. Either way, you're still going to have 10 grand plus in your pocket. And they're as simple as that. It's uh, So let me just show you, look. So um, you get a video there. You can watch the video. But the point is, look, before and after. Before and after. So no, you don't have to replace your entire septic tank system, right? So you can just put a converter in. And they'll save you thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. It really is that simple. And as I said, that's why I make these live broadcasts, because I love helping people. I really do. And if you can save money, I mean, better off 10, 20 grand in your pocket than someone else's, right? So two options, right? So let's see the two options that we looked at, right? So these are the two options that we've looked at today, right? Which will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. Option number one, if your septic tank does not discharge into a water course or whatever, then you need to get yourself a septic tank government compliance form. They're free, right? They're free from septictank.co.uk, free. I've done all the hard work for you, right? All right, so it won't cost you a penny. Just go to septictank.co.uk and get one for yourself. Number two, if your septic tank does go into a water course or a stream or a ditch or a culvert, something like that, please, please, please don't spend 15, 20, 25,000 quid or more. Please to relocate or replace your system. Get yourself, right, a septic tank converter right you'll save you'll save right you'll save anywhere from 12 right to 22,000 quid 
by putting one of those in. That means your septic tank can stay exactly where it is. You just got to dig a little hole, put a little black box in, and they're government approved. So they're approved by the UK government. They're approved by the environmental agency, and they're approved by UK building regs. So building control now uh, have a lot of power has been granted to them. Uh, and they only want to put units in that are going to protect the environment and protect your family. So there you go. That's some really good tips I've given you there to save you a lot of money and uh, and to make your septic tank compliant. So listen, thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with some more tips to save you thousands of pounds. But in the interim, if you want to see more of me, then just go to Septic Tank TV, right? Septic Tank TV, or you can go to septictank.co.uk. Give me a ring. Uh, I really look forward to not only helping you with free advice, free information, but I also look forward to speaking to you soon.